tomorrow's uh, action, just sort of assess the day and where you are at this point? Well, I felt a lot better about Friday night than I did about Friday morning. Um, I'll say that much. I thought our guys did a good job for the most part. I mean, th this is an individual event, and you have to kind of process things individually for each guy. But overall, I thought we did a really good job uh, tonight, especially in the consolation rounds. You know, Joey Dance really had to dig deep and suck it up to, to win that match and uh, kind of get that monkey off his back, and that was a huge win for him. Uh, Solomon Shisko, same thing. You know, did a great job, especially with that second round consolation match against a guy from Rutgers. I mean, sucked it up at the end. Really proud of the, the effort that our guys gave tonight. Sal Mastriani uh, in the All American round, wrestling a really good guy. You know, he just stayed in there and fought and battled and fought and battled and, and basically refused to lose. And in this event, especially later in the tournament, um, when you have strong desire and you impose your will on somebody, you can win a lot of wrestling matches. Yeah. How do you feel heading into tomorrow's faction? You know, I feel good about it. I really do. I think our guys understand what's in front of them. I mean, it, like I said, it, we wrestled with a lot of desire tonight for the most part. Uh, Joey Dance, unbelievable job digging really, really deep against a guy that was in there battling him um, and wanted to win real bad. So to me, that was one of the better wins in his career. Maybe not against a guy with a huge name, but just how he won the match against the Nebraska guy uh, in, in that round. Uh, was really proud of his effort, was proud of Solomon Shisko's effort, was really, really proud of Sal Mastriani's effort. I mean, that guy has come so far uh, throughout the course of his career, and uh, it, it just shows what happens when it's really important to you. And, and wrestling's really important to Sal. Being an All-American is really important to Sal, so uh, couldn't be prouder of him, couldn't be happier for him. We lost a couple tough ones in the, in the semifinals, especially at heavyweight. I thought that was one that was going to be uh, – that, that, that we could get in, in, in 97 as well. So, you know, a little disappointed there, but it, this is a tough deal. And the further you go along in the championship round, the more difficult it gets. So, uh, you know, don't necessarily know exactly what the team score is, but I know we came with seven. We got five All-Americans. We got four guys that still have a chance to get third, and there's a lot of wrestling to be done. I want to ask you a little bit more about Sal. Um, hadn't, hadn't earned All-American honors in his career until today. What What is that? I know it's been a long journey for him. What's it say about him to finally to accomplish that? It says a lot about his perseverance, a lot about his character, a lot about his will and desire to win and his toughness. Um, that, that was on display in that match more than anything. So, uh, you know, he deserves a lot of credit. He had a, he had a pretty good year as a sophomore and then last year uh, struggled a little bit and then for him to just stay in there and mentally and, and keep believing and keep working and keep getting better uh, it's a testament to, to what he's done in the last 12 months. So what did you say to Joey you know after that disappointing loss what, uh, what was kind of the message coming into the day? The message was that number one there's nothing you can do about it we have to move on we have to wipe the slate clean we can't go back in, in, in the past but I really wanted him to feel good about the way he ended his college wrestling career. And that was our message to him is that you got you to feel good about this. So uh, we got to forget about it. You know, we know we're capable. So let's come back and storm to the wrestlebacks and let's leave this event, uh, you know, with our head high. Jared and Ty both, uh, like you said, tough matches tonight. What, uh, what will you say to them and what do you think their approach will be tomorrow? I think they'll be fine. I mean, they're disappointed, obviously. I think Ty, being a senior, you know, uh, will be disappointed. But uh, these guys understand what it's about, you know. And we talk about it all the time that we can't get caught up. And once it's over, it's over, and we got to move on. He's got an opportunity. Uh, he's already a three-time All-American. He's got an opportunity to place third in the country, and that's a pretty pretty big deal, especially at that weight class. So uh, I, I'm not worried about either of those guys. We've got great kids that have great attitudes, and uh, their desire to win is strong. Any sense of disappointment in not having at least one person in the finals? Or is it just a situation where it's so so competitive? It, it, this is a tough deal. I mean, obviously, that's our goal. I mean, our goal is to get national champions. So, yeah, I, I guess there's a little bit of disappointment in that sense. But um, you kind of have to assess things individually. And although I felt like we coming into this thing, we could have a couple guys in the finals, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. I mean, th there's some great teams out there. Um, there's still a lot of wrestling to be done. And, uh, you know, we'll see where we end up tomorrow. Sounds good.